Hello dear friends and colleagues, we are very happy to introduce to you JK Pro, the world's best artificial cornea. But first of all, my Sashtang Pranam and Stuti Sahavandan to Dr. Aryan Mathur, the great guru of ophthalmology. Unfortunately, I never had an opportunity to meet him in person or learn from him. But his divine soul keeps guiding all of us forever. With solemn, deep and due respects to these stalwarts and pioneers of this field, with profuse inspiration and showering blessings from Pujya Pramukh Swami and Pujya Mahan Swami, Please let me introduce to you the three models of JK Pro. We do have financial interest in JK Pro. JK Pro RC, where RC stands for retrocorneal, which is a penetrating implant. It is a single piece, soft and foldable implant made of bio-integrable hydrogel columnar with epithelizable optic surface. JK Pro RC will sit like this after implantation. As we can notice, deep anterior chamber, undisturbed angle and untrapped iris are maintained. After implantation, the intraocular pressure will maintain it in C2. Aqueous humor has micro seepage from optic body, keeping eye surface wet and moist and it also keeps IOP always under control. Let us see a video of JK Pro RC implantation in an 85 year old one eyed pseudophagic patient with two failed PKP grafts whose vision was hand movements and IOP was 12. A 3 mm diameter skin biopsy punch is used as semi blunt trephine. for partial thickness and non-perforating trephination. Two radial RK-like incisions are made at 0 and 180 degree axis. After perforating the cornea with a pointed knife, chamber is filled with visco. Central disc is now removed with scissors. We refill visco as often as needed. Don't worry much about the ragged margins of trephine cut. In fact, we want a little ragged margin. Pupil is constricted with intracameral pilocarpine. Pupil was updrawn, so we did a sphincterotomy. Now we open up both the radial incisions. AC is refilled with visco often as often as needed. Now we pass one short length 10 0, a preferably proline suture. Full thickness from lower lip of the wound and leave it there. Repeat the same on the other side. JK Pro is now taken from the sterile blister pack and brought on surgical field. Now we thread the suture through two juxtaposed holes of JK Pro. Die from top down and come out from bottom to up. Same is repeated 180 degrees apart between the two juxtaposed holes.
Now the suture is passed full thickness from the upper lip of the wound. Same is repeated on the other side incision. After refilling the chamber, Capro is now inserted into the anterior chamber. It goes in quite easily. Sutures are now tightened with 3-1-1 throw. After putting two more sutures on either side to make the wounds watertight and more secured, all knots are rotated and buried. Two limbal side ports are now made. Visco is bimanually aspirated. After hydrating side ports and forming the anterior chamber, a sterile bandage contact lens is put. Six hours post-op, the patient's vision improved from hand movements to 624. She was very, very happy. These are the one week and one month post-op videos. Notice the anterior chamber depth, the chamber is clear and the iris is free from the optic. No retrolenticular membrane formation. Few more case results before and after JK Pro implantation. JK Pro IC is non penetrating implant where IC stands for intracorneal. This is mainly for anterior stromal dense opacities where the posterior stroma is relatively clear. This is how JK Pro IC will sit in the cornea intrastromally. JK Pro IC is a soft foldable artificial cornea. It is only 200 microns in thickness. A 4 mm diameter, 400 micron depth trephination is already done. We can just remove the central disc and leave the stroma, the posterior clear stroma undisturbed. And with a special knife, we now create a pocket, 360 degree, which is eight millimeter in width, eight millimeter in diameter. Now we fold, hold and fold and push the JK Pro IC into the stroma, into the pocket which we have created, center it and we unfold the skirt. The skirt is very thin so sometimes while implanting it folds on itself. So with iris spatula we can just unfold and unfold the skirt and bring the optic right into the center of the trephination. And this is it. It can be done under topical. It's just five to seven minutes procedure. It is an ideal and sutureless procedure for anterior central corneal opacities. Two more cases of JK Pro IC. JK Pro GT is our attempt to create an intraocular Galilean telescope by placing a 21 diopter JK Pro IC in the cornea intrastromally and putting a minus 6 diopter meniscus IOL in the bag, which will create an intraocular Galilean telescope, which will help the patients of age related macular degeneration.
Both versions are available for FAQ guys having plus 63 diopters powers and for pseudo FAQ guys having power of 42 diopters. Residual refraction can be corrected by specs or by Bendis contact lens. We can make custom made JK Pro if we know whether the eye is fakic or pseudo fakic, axial length, central corneal thickness, and white to white diameter. It's a short under 15 minute surgery with easy learning curve. It gives instant visual rehabilitation which is long lasting. There is no induced astigmatism. Elastic modulus of the material is same as adult cornea, so IOP can be measured by Shiorts, eye care or tonopen. There is no need for any topical steroids. No steroids, no synechia, hence no chance of secondary glaucoma. Retina can be well visualized through JK Pro. No waiting list nor lines, no waiting period because it is always available anytime we need. Not only dedicated cornea surgeons, but any well skilled eye surgeon can do JK Pro surgery because there is no need for eye bank registration or organ transplant act registration. Boston K Pro is a three piece PMMA. It's a large, very bulky, having a titanium locking ring which occupies too much of space in the anterior chamber. Hence, retroprosthetic membrane formation is very common, extrusion is also common, and we need a donor cornea button to fix the Boston K Pro. Being made of titanium and PMMA, the Boston K Pro does not bio integrate with the cornea, so the wound is never hermetically sealed, and hence the chances of infection and extrusion are high. JK Pro material is not only bio compatible but it is also bio integrable with corneal tissue. Hence, the wound gets hermetically sealed and healed, and hence it is free from retro optic membrane formation infection and extrusion. JK Pro is possible to implant even in severe dry eye pemphigoid like cases because of the water percolating polymer, the dry eye becomes wet by the aqueous humor percolation through the central optic. JK Pro IC is an ideal treatment for severe and advanced keratoconus. In our five and a half years experience, we have felt that JK Pro RC is better than penetrating keratoplasty and JK Pro IC is better than deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. In last 63 months of 21 patients, 21 eyes implantations done, we found nil infection, nil extrusion, nil loss of vision, nil corneal melting, no synechia, no secondary glaucoma, nil repeat surgery and nil implant opacification. JK Pro for all these our patients was like Jyoti Kalash Chalke or it was like Tamasoma Jyotirgamai from darkness to light in the verbatim true sense of it. It is an implant surgery like fit it, shut it and forget it. JK Pro is like holy grail found for the corneal blindness which is as good as foldable IOL for opaque corneas, which is the best artificial cornea, giving sunrise in eyes in the true sense. If we light a lamp for others, it will also brighten our own path, so said Gautam Buddha, which was also the life mantra of respected late Dr. R. N. Mathur sir. With Namaste, Vandan and Jai Swaminarayan to all of you, we thank you all very much by heart for your patient listening.